We're here in beautiful Brookside, where we will remove this old dock and install a new one in its place. If you are about to replace your dock or deck, or if you are considering building a new one, this short video will give you an idea of what to expect, and hopefully more than one reason to hire Wyman Construction to do the job for you. This being an R&R, &R, we will have the old deck to work off of. So, first we lay out for the new piles, then cut the holes in the existing deck. We've previously put points on the pressure treated 4 before in anticipation of this installation and now we'll drive them in. When all of the piles are in place, we'll remove the old decking and joists which we will replace with new pressure treated material. Because our new dock is to be covered in treks, we will need to space the joists closer together. The original redwood could span 24 inches with no problem but the treks should be 16 inches or less for the manufacturer's recommendations. With the joists in place, we move to the treks installation. Gapping at the butt ends and in between boards is very important for expansion and contraction. Also, the gap in between the boards allows for water runoff. We've chosen to use a two inch screw to hold our treks boards in place. I personally like the screws better than the nails because of the greater holding power. When the screws are all in, we will go back over the deck and gently tap the treks back down around the holes left by the screw. This will reduce the size of the hole and make the deck a little easier on the eyes. As you may have noticed, we are continually skimming the lake. This coupled with the temporary dams we anchor out at both ends help to make the water cleaner and the neighbors happier. With our deck butting up to an existing retaining wall, we started our treks layout against the wall and have moved outwards. We will cut our joist ends and install our 2x12 fascia just before the last two rows of treks go on. This will guarantee us a full treks plank finish. If we had not done it this way, we may have ended up with the last board having to be ripped. With the dust vacuumed up, the debris hauled off and the boat tie downs installed. It's time for us to return this backyard to the owners. I hope to see you soon in your backyard.